Hey YouTube, Walter Fowler 2012, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, last night I watched American Blackout on Nat Geo, uh, also known as Prepper Porn. <laughs> um, you know, I, I really just want to get everybody's thoughts uh, on this show. Two hour show based on a cyber attack of the grid, the power grid. And if you didn't see the show, you may not want to watch this video because I'm going to talk about a few scenarios in it. And uh, my first question, uh, I guess using the word cyber attack, I'm just kind of, um, when I think of the word cyber attack, I think internet, I think computer, I think software. Um, I don't think power grid. But anyway, that was the premise of the film. Uh, for being uh, or being without power for 10 days um, so it followed I think five families uh, five not families but five scenarios five different uh, people uh, people's stories and uh, they had some folks uh, young folks caught in an elevator and interesting statistic was that there's about 900,000 elevators in the US Wow so chances are that uh, if there ever is a power outage for an extended period of time, there could be a lot of people stuck in elevators. Um, it, there was another couple uh, that was uh, uh, pr uh, pregnant with a, with a young child, and the child was filming um, her parents during this crisis. And uh, it's funny, they stopped at the ATM machine to get cash, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever and of course he wasn't able to retrieve any cash so I'm just kinda curious if you know is this a sheeple mentality where people just think oh I'll just stop at the ATM machine and get, get some cash the powers out you know we need some cash I, I you know and then there's the couple in New York City which kind of probably represent most of society that are drinking warm champagne and uh, eating caviar on the 46th floor of their building that you know the elevators not working and they're complaining and the guys actually considering suing the building that he lives in because they don't have any power back up with generators um, and maybe that is you know that that probably is the, the mindset of most folks um, the New York City couple I think were the most entertaining and then there was the extreme guy the prepper uh, I think his name was Hank old prepper Hank and uh, what did he do right and what did he do wrong uh, prepper Hank uh, seemed like he kind of had just his family uh, and his daughter's boyfriend which wasn't really part of his core group and uh, I won't talk too much about that that's kind of a uh, uh, you would need to watch that it's because uh, he ends up giving away food to neighbors and uh, but it looks like old Hank didn't have a big enough well he didn't have enough people to rely on he just alienated everybody and it was just him and his family and they didn't seem very educated on weapons or anything to that nature um, so what did Prepper Hank do right what did he do wrong um, the timing of this movie is kind of interesting because it seems like we have some drills going on in November for power or grid down situation and the government's doing testing and, and things on that nature, things of that nature. Um, and another interesting statistic during the film they talked about, um, I think it was 3,400 gallons of water to put out an average sized uh, home with a then engulfed in, in uh, flames within a fire so I don't know I think um, with the timing of the movie as preppers watching this what did we learn did we learn anything did we think it was exaggerated did we think that uh, in 10 days this kind of situation wouldn't escalate to that uh, is it just because it's a fiction and it's a movie that it that it, it's it sped up that process or do you think that it would take less time do you think after two days that this would be an issue 
where people were out grilling because their stuff was thawing out of the freezer and everybody was kind of sharing food and outside and you know I think that that's pretty realistic but uh, as time goes on and each day gets worse and worse and people get more hungry and more hungry more desperate what happens um, so I'm just curious leave some comments I'd like to get some dialogue uh, you know did you get anything out of this movie was there any value in it uh, do you think it was accurate any you know any other points I'd like to just get some people's thoughts on it that's it uh, if you want to do a VR or something then shoot me a PM let me know that you have it on your channel I'll definitely uh, check it out and uh, or if you just want to leave comments I think it'd be great from the prepper's perspective to see if there was any value in this or if it was just entertaining for you to watch, like a prepper porn. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Mm -hmm.